Uh, the boat we're on right now is the 345 Conquest, and this was introduced in model year 2008. And up to date, this is our biggest um, outboard cabin boat ever created by Boston Whaler. Boston Whalers have traditionally been, you know, renowned for their uh, their unique construction process, the Unibond construction process, in which we take a full hull and a full fiberglass inner liner and essentially fill the entire cavity with uh, buoyant foam. So like I mentioned before, the uh, 345 Conquest is our largest outboard powered cabin boat that uh, Boston Whalers ever made. And uh, you know, you're going to find every fishing amenity or um, you know, cabin sleeping amenity that you'll find on, on bigger boats as well. And you know, starting with the, starting with the cockpit, we have a, uh, a full bench seat in the back that can seat um, three people, or maybe even four smaller people. Um, you have rod holder storage, you have rod storage, you have downrigger weight storage, you have two um, giant fish boxes, you have a uh, big generator hatch, uh, or mechanical bilge hatch, whatever you can call it, uh, where you huge access space to uh, get to all your mechanicals, your generator service, and all your pumps and fittings. All right, so starting with the helm chair, we have a uh, you know, fully adjustable up and down, you know, forward and aft uh, captain's chair with a uh, flip-up bolster. Um, obviously, we have all the Mercury DTS uh, rigging and components. Um, this boat's equipped with standard trim tabs, bow thruster, um, stereo remote. Um, this particular boat is equipped with 12-inch Raymarine electronics with the radar. The cockpit is equipped with air conditioning, with two vents here and two up at the top. Right here we have a uh, nicely laid out switch panel. Um, our VHF is located in the panel up here along with switches. Today we're sitting on the all new Boston Whaler 345 Conquest, powered by not one, not two, but three Mercury 300 horsepower Verado engines. When we first came out with Verado, we set out to make the first four stroke outboard that actually performed like a two stroke, the kind of engine that people have been used to for so many years. So one of the most exciting things about packages like this, these triple end configurations, is basically you can have up to, you know, 600, 900 horsepower on the back of a boat like this and run it with a control system called Shadow Mode, which is, looks just like a standard dual console control. The center engine actually runs on software, so when you're driving it, it feels just like you're driving a big twin engine package. One of the things we're proudest of is, is how quiet Verados are. It's kind of a very sophisticated sound. They're whisper quiet and right back here now there's three engines running at idle speed and they're virtually silent. In fact what you hear is the water just kind of swirling around the engines in the back here and uh, that's about it. And what's most exciting is that you got 900 horses of pure fire back here once you put the sticks down ready to make this boat get up and perform. So before we were talking about 900 horses of fire and the question is how do we get the fire? Well Verados are the world's only supercharged four strokes and superchargers are what the key is to that great acceleration and that great instantaneous planning that this boat's going to get. So let's see here what Bobby does when the sticks go down and this thing comes up and goes. Okay, let's hit it.